Hey guys, it's day 42. Uh, yesterday I did some 4 inch block pulls, which seems like I'm paying for right now. Everything is feeling really heavy. Um, so it's taken me a hell of a long time to warm up today. It's warm. Usually I'm okay when it's warm. Um, but my back is really stiff. My, my glutes, have, my hip joint is feeling really stiff. Um, I did 90% for five singles and that but it took me almost 20 minutes, 25 minutes. It's just feeling really, really heavy. Um, so I put 170 in the bar. That moved kind of all right on video. So I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna go with um, my, my visual um, observation of the video rather than how I feel. Cause if I didn't look at that video, I'd probably quit it at 170. Uh, but anyway, I've loaded up the bar to 180. Let's see how it goes. I'm kind of like nervous about the whole thing. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Um, but anyway, I fixed up the pins it's a bit, a little bit higher. Um, so if I do drop the bar, it doesn't have to drop that far. Um, but anyway, here we go. Let's see how it goes. It's so bizarre, man. This thing moved exactly like how 160 moved, how 170 moved. It almost feels like no matter what weight I have on the bar, the, the speed is the same, the feeling is still shit. Um, it's just, I'm just thinking of John Bros, what he, what he says. I've, I've watched a fair bit of John Bros, um, the guy that kind of like advocates this type of training, squatting every day. And he says that the mind lies to you. Well, I guess I know what he means by, you know, by that right now. Honestly, like 150 felt the same as 180. Um, which is interesting, right? Like it's 30, 30 kilos difference. Like just the whole day today, I've just been feeling really shit. Yesterday I did four inch block pulls. I did five sets of five at 160 kilos. That kind of felt really well. Um, last night I did some stretching. I used a Theragun that, uh, that a friend let me borrow and that thing's amazing. So I smashed the glutes on that, smashed the TFL, all the problem areas for me usually. And uh, this morning I pulled up real bad. So I don't know whether it's because of the, the four inch block pulls. I'm, I'm, I'm hedging my bets on that. It's definitely the four inch block pulls. I've, I think I've worked out a pattern now. Every single time I do deadlifts the following day I feel shit ass basically. Um, which is interesting, right? Because I don't know whether you guys have had the same observation, but there's been, in my mind, so many powerlifters in the world who are amazing at the deadlift and then don't do so well on the squat. Um, and vice versa, the really good squatter seems to struggle with the deadlift. Rarely do you see guys smash both. Um, so I don't know what, like, I don't know, like maybe the deadlift hits similar muscles. Um, maybe the deadlift tightens certain muscle groups and then you can't get into position with the squat. Um, but anyway, another day, I'm going to try and do some back offsets, even though I feel like shit. Um, but the video, the video doesn't lie, right? I'm going to watch this um, 180 how it moved. It felt the same as 170 anyway. So anyway, that's it for today. Hopefully tomorrow I feel a little bit better. Cheers, guys.